Abraxas spaceport. This was the Rebels' last bastion. From where we stood it looked like a horrid, blackened thing jutting out of a wound in the planet. The land around it was blasted and rotten. It almost looked like some massive insect had left its stinger in the land, and its venom was slowly spreading across the vast plains, blighting it. The void shields of the place shimmered as Imperial forces bombarded. Whatever ancient arcane technologies powered these void shields, it was proving too strong to simply wear it down by bombardment, even from orbit. The port was essential for Imperial interests in the subsector. Damn near the entire planet did nothing other than feed the spaceport and keep it supplied. We needed to take it. We needed to face their massive guns and take the place hab block by hab block. I walked in front of my men, adorned in my new carapace armor and officer's uniform. They did not need a rousing speech. These men and women of Krieg knew that it was their duty to drown the streets and corridors of Abraxas with the blood of the traitor and the heretic. And they knew that many of us would die for the Emperor in the next few days, weeks, or months, however long it took for us to purge this place. The plan was a simple one. Imperial forces completely surrounded the spaceport. First, the barrage would begin. It was unlikely it would bring down the shields. But the blasts would confuse their aspects and targeting systems as we made our assault over the open plains in all directions. Once we passed through the void shields, that was when we would face the true wrath of the guns of Abraxas. We would have to move through a kilometer of open field with absolutely no cover save what could be offered by our tanks spearheading the assault. Then, once we reached the city itself, we would be carving our way through hard point after hard point, ambush after ambush. Not to mention we had intelligence that there were traitor space marines within. Abraxas will be my tomb. There will be no survival for the men at the front. No. I will not survive a frontal assault on a fortress with billions of mad heretics inside. I wait. I say nothing. And my men say nothing. There is almost a sense of ease among them. They know what I know. They know that we are marching to our deaths. Towards our ultimate redemption. And towards the Emperor's holy light. I hear the siren signal. The bombardment begins. I hold aloft my chainsword and signal for my men to begin moving double time. Some of my regiment is sheltered within chimeras. Others march behind them or the Lehman Russ battle tanks that would be their shields. They begin to return fire. Their first volley overshoots the advancing columns. The bombardment was working as intended. Their aim was certainly suffering. We made it about a hundred meters before the next volley hit. One shell struck the regiment to our left, vaporizing at least a dozen men. A massive explosion caused a crater to erupt in front of us, sending tons of earth high into the air. I began directing tanks and men to go around and reform on the other side. We were behind now. Breaks in the line were weaknesses that the enemy could exploit if they chose to counterattack. I ordered my men to move at triple time to catch up and we quickly closed the gap and returned to formation. Still, we had nearly two kilometers until we reached the void shields. A near miss here, a blast near the rear of the column that killed a handful, another into the regiment to the right. As the shells fell among us, I could feel my heart swelling. 
This was it. I was going to die. I could feel it in my fellow Kriegers as well. Soon, we would all be forgiven. In that moment, I couldn't help myself. I raised my voice in song to the unforgiven of my homeland, as we seemed to run through hell itself. O oh, men of Krieg, what shame you bring upon your wretched souls. So pay it back with blood and steel where'er your emperor calls. You shall never doubt to yield till death your fighting cease. Then enter in his golden light, and know the Emperor's peace. O men of Krieg, five hundred years of raging war and strife, your rebel hearts a debt incurred, repaid full with your life. So through the trenches you must crawl and fight where'er you're sent to win the wars for the holy throne and eternally repent. O oh, men of Krieg, what shame you bring upon your wretched souls. So die and march to the emperor's gate and proudly pay your toll. Regiment Casualty Reports for the 35th Line Corps of Krieg suffered during the blood run to Abraxas spaceport. Of the original 2,000 infantry, 13 vehicles, 636 killed, wounded, or unaccounted for, two Chimera and one Lehman Russ battle tank were destroyed. The 35th successfully reached the void shields of Abraxas. The commander remained in communique with headquarters until he reached the shield wall. May he find his redemption.